Now let's say I have a couple of my book covers over here and then over here as well. So I have downloaded the book images, the book cover images, and let's say I want to form a collage. So although my images here are on my book covers, you, know, you can use your own um, images, family, recreational, and so on. You can also use the code interpreter to help us generate a uh, photo collage. So the first thing I'll do again is to compress them. All right, go to my code inter interpreter, and then I can say I can upload my images. So I can tell it I have a zip file containing multiple images. Create a photo collage for me. And I can even specify that, okay, um, something like I want the images to be laid out in uh, two rows and three columns. Okay, so let's see how that will look like. Okay, sure, it looks at the contents of the zip file. We proceed to create a collage in a 2 by 3 layout. Shall we begin? Yes. Okay, so although I specified 2 by 3, you can of course have uh, it all six images laid out uh, horizontally or vertically or up to you. So it says that set, there are seven image files. We use, a, we, we use the first six images. All right. Okay. That's weird. But it's okay. We can just proceed first and we can do follow-up prompts to correct our collage later on. Okay, then I get a collage like this. Okay, so uh, of course it uh, the right side doesn't really the right side seems uh, being cut off okay so I can say I can do a follow-up prompt saying describing the problem the right side of the images are cut off then it explains it's because the images have different sizes and it will it can resize all the images to a consistent size okay so yes all right i'll let it choose a common size that fits all the images and then it will create a collage again okay so now it uh it resizes and the right side we, we can see the entire cover all right of course it looks slightly stretched uh, but you can just uh, carry on your own to do follow-up prompts to make your collage the way you want it.